what is going on virgo gang welcome back to the channel elevated spirits it's jazzy your reader for today this is going to be your reading for the week ahead going forward just a quick um a little announcement going forward per my guides advisory we're no longer um making my readings time specific or date specific only um the readings that will be are the lunar moon phase new moon full moon readings um, if you would like to book a personal reading tailored to your specific energy or situation, please feel free to check out the description box below. Um, stay tuned for elevatedspirits.com. That will be launching soon. Um, a bunch of stuff that I'll have um, available there. And yeah, let's get into your reading. So I'm going to get some numbers that you guys might be seeing at this time that may be of significance that may help you better correspond to the messages here in the reading. Okay. So we have two. Or you may be born on the second. We have a two-year-old. We have two kids. Um, you may be a life path number two. Okay. I like to write the numbers down so that way I can match them back to other um, readings that may um, have other messages for you. Okay. So we have number nine. A few other people got number got nine as well. So if you have Taurus in your chart, um, dealing with the Taurus, Gemini, um, Pisces also got number nine. So some of you may be a life path number nine. Maybe you were born on the ninth. Um, doubt you have nine kids <laughs> we have a nine-year-old um yeah <clears throat> nine again so you may be seeing 99 999 okay and 11 so some of you may be born on the 11th may have an 11 year old may have a life path number 11 um some of you may be seeing 11 11 um take it as it resonates this won't be for everyone obviously um it's for all verbal placements okay so let's see what signs may be of significance to you this week Capricorn, you may be dealing with Capricorn. You have Capricorn in your chart. Libra, maybe dealing with Libra, may have Libra in your chart. And Gemini. So you may be dealing with the Gemini, have Gemini, Gemini highly aspect in chart, or any of those signs um, may be of importance to you for this week. Alright, so the spirit for Virgos. What can I go to if they need a note for this week ahead, please? banishment so i feel like some of you may have some cleansing or clearing energy clearing that may need to be done that maybe um someone may have you know been sending you negative energy sending you the eye um doing spell work okay um invocation so <clears throat> be mindful for those of you that are practitioners you know like myself be mindful of um what you're calling in make sure that you're really mindful in doing your research before you call up certain um, deities or spirits, make sure you're basically essentially not picking up what you can't put down, okay? If you know, you know, but do your research because there's some cleansing that needs to be done here, okay? there If there's someone around you, maybe a, um, any of the signs that I mentioned, a Capricorn, um, Gemini, or Libra that may have been working behind the scenes, maybe um, paying other people to do spell work, do things, you know, um, send negative energy towards you in any kind of way, be mindful of that. Someone may have um sent a death spell to you okay so make sure that you're cleansing your energy um you know sending any energy i'm not going to tell you to return to sender because um what spirit gave me with that whole return to sender thing which i will i haven't made the video yet on it but i will I, it keeps coming up so i know i'm going to eventually have to make a video about it but i wouldn't recommend sending it back to the sender and i'm gonna tell you why real fast um when you essentially return energy to sender it's not getting rid of the energy, okay? Because energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be transmuted and change form. So it's essentially the same thing as if like, say you get, you catch a cold, right? And you know, you get better, you finally get better. But if you're not strengthening your immune system, AKA you're um, getting your protection rituals up and you know, going and you know, established, you're essentially on those days where you're not vibrating at your highest, you're still susceptible to catching that cold again, right? So essentially, when you're just sending energy back to its sender, you're not essentially getting rid of it. So I would recommend sending that that energy down to the core of the planet or transmuting that energy into love, into prosperity over your own finances, over your own bank accounts or, you know, love for your life, love for yourself, whatever. Transmuting that energy and putting it change in its form. OK, because you just sending it back to the sender. It can easily come back to you if you're not, um, you know, if you're, like I said, not vibrating at your highest one of those days where your, your protection may be a little bit slipping, you may, you know, it can easily come back to you. So I'm just saying, um, but do it that what you will. All right. So, yeah, but this is also about um, cleansing the energy. I feel like some of you maybe um, there may be parts of you or things that need to fall away. OK, um, some of you may be breaking 
um, ancestral or generational um, cycles at this time. I don't, I don't no longer call them curses, but cycles. Um, so some of you may be, this may be a week to where you're able to break some type of generational cycle um, that you've been experiencing or maybe um, any type of um, intentions or negative energy that's been placed over your family, over your lineage, over your bloodline. I feel like you guys are in a very powerful place this week to, um, to clear that and cut that once and for all. Okay, so let's see. But for others of you with these two cards at the bottom of this deck, okay, there could definitely be some cleansing that needs to be done here with the water. Some of you may need to take um, cleansing baths, okay? For those of you that know about um, uncrossing rituals, you may consider taking, um, doing some uncrossing baths, okay? Um, because there could be, like I said, a deity or some type of energy attachment that has, you know, that has attached itself to you by not being, you know, mindful. That's, you know, that's how that typically happens when we're, when we're kind of slacking on our protection rituals and our safe you know, being safe, keeping our energy safe and cleansed and clear, you know, it makes us susceptible to these things. That is how viruses and dis diseases, you know, um, you know, come out, essentially. It's by us not, you know, um, cleansing, doing things we need to do to it's all energy, all of it. Viruses are energy. Diseases, disease, it's energy. All of it's energy. So it means that if you, if it's come to you, you can clear it as well, okay? is your right absolutely okay and there could and that could be part of like like what i said is that this is a week i feel like for you virgos where if, if lack has been a, a like a family cycle for you has been a cycle in your family where it seems like nobody could really anybody in your family um can seem to get you know get you know abundance nobody in your family can seem to really um you know live in that rich wealthy abundant life um, or lack has been a thing where money is the root of evil and all that type of shit. It's like, I feel like this is a week where you guys are, are able to, or where spirit is really encouraging you, asking you, nudging you, where things are, certain things are coming up. It's coming up for a reason. It's coming up for you to, you know, banish this, this poverty or this lack mindset once and for all. I feel like for some of you, that's what's trying to fall away here. Because this death card in this um, particular deck also represents that, of things that are trying to leave your life, things that are trying to um, fall away, be it you know, situations, environments, old, you know, mindsets, paradigms, thought process, limiting beliefs, um, and, you know, people that are around you, connections, whatever that is, um, abundance is your right. So it's time to banish that, banish that, um, that energy of poverty, that banish that energy of scarcity or not having enough, not being enough, whatever that is for you. Okay. This is the week to do, especially with this, um, lunar eclipse energy, the full moon we just had, but also the eclipse energy, um, last that energy lingers and lasts way longer than um the regular three days before three days after of regular new and full moons so this is a really good time to utilize that energy to banish off any of that you know that energy that negative energy then lower limiting beliefs this is time to get rid of it okay because abundance is your right you deserve to be abundant you deserve to have enough you deserve to not have to worry and stress and you know feel like i'm always lacking i never have enough you deserve to not have to feel like that all the time okay so can i have one more for Virgos, please okay, go ahead. i feel like sorry about that my alarm went off um but yeah, I feel like anything that's coming up right now that has to do with maybe you're feeling like really like stuck or feeling like you really don't have enough, it's this is Spirit's way of showing you, bringing to the forefront in a real major way of what needs to be banished off. It's trying to eclipse it out of your life once and for all. So this is a time to allow that to happen, okay? <clears throat> Spirit, one more for Virgos, please. Let's look ahead. right patience is a virtue yeah so it's important to be patient love is your energy um be patient with yourself be patient with the process you know anytime we try to rush things it it just makes it take longer and that's coming from a lack of mindset okay so just know that um anything that feels like it's taking a long time it's happening in divine timing it happens when it's supposed to how it's supposed to not when we want it to so make sure that you're allowing yourself to practice patience okay when you banish off the negative energy that that energy of lack the energy of poverty and scarcity 
you won't be stressing about when something's going to happen, okay? Because you're not you're not worried anymore. When you're not lacking anything, you're not stressed about having it, right? When you have plenty of money, you're no longer in that energy of when is it? When am I going to get more? Because you have plenty. You already know that you have it. You have plenty, so you're not stressed about when more is going to come, right? So it's the same type of thing. So when you banish off that energy of lack and poverty, you won't be so stressed out about, you know, how am I going to do this and how am I going to do that? And I never have enough. You're not worried about that anymore. That's no longer um, a stressor for you, okay? But we have to um, banish off that energy first and let those limiting um, beliefs and thoughts and experiences fall away, okay? Spirit for Virgos for the week ahead, please. What do you need to know? Strength. Okay. Some of you may be dealing with Leo. You may have Leo highly aspected in your chart. Okay. Spirit is, I feel like, asking you this week, though, Virgo, to stand your power. Hold back where it's necessary. You do have a new beginning coming. You may have a, this may be a message coming in from an earth sign. Um, like yourself, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. You may have a new beginning coming. And it's going to be important for you to be strong, stand in your power. Um, you know, be courageous. When this comes, when this message, when it's a message, Spirit, can I have one more clarify? This is strength in the page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, this is um, you know being strong, stand your power, you know, just hold back, stand strong because you have a new beginning coming here. Okay, like Spirit said, abundance is your right. So just know, um, you know, Spirit's asking. I feel this week to be um, be resourceful. Okay, use use your resources, but you do have a new beginning coming here. Okay, um, be resourceful. Use use what you have. Work on your business. Work on your finances. Stay um, stay grounded. Focus on your stability here. Okay. I feel like some of you may be getting a message that's bringing you into some type of finances, into some type of stability. So just, you know, again, patience is a virtue. Okay. If, it's, if it hasn't happened yet, it's coming. So stand strong. You got this. All right. That was the nine of wands. So that represents I'm not giving up. Okay. It's time to push forward. Persevere. You're almost there. It's also about boundaries, you know, protecting your progress up until this point. Okay, spirit. Six of Pentacles, yeah. So this is giving and receiving. Okay, making sure that you're you're giving the energy out that you want to receive in return. But this is also about um, some of you maybe getting someone that's coming in to help you, um, helping you in some type of way. This could be the universe helping you. Okay, you, but you may not see it. All right. There could be some illusions surrounding whatever this help is. So it's going to be also important for you to follow your intuition at this time. You may not see, there may be details that are um, hidden at this time that you may not see, but this could also be help that's coming in for you in some type of unknown, unexpected way um, that you're unaware of. So just be open. Okay, Spirit, one more. Let's... King of Wands. Um, some type of success could be coming towards you. This could be coming in the form of a person. Okay, someone that's charming, someone that's handsome. And this could be, like I said, an illusion. If this is someone that seems too good to be true, that they're just trying to charm your fucking socks off, be mindful of that, okay? Focus on your, remain, you know, focused on your business, on your prosperity, on your money, your abundance, okay? Some of you, this could be a person that you need to banish off. Someone that is, you know, pretending that they, you know, want to give to you equally, pretending that they're trying to help you, but it's an illusion, okay? That's not going to be for all of you, but that's for some of you, and you'll know who this person is, okay? That could be the Capricorn, that could be a Gemini, that could be um, a Libra, so you'll know where that fits, but I feel like someone could be coming in, maybe claiming to help you or wanting to help you, but there could be um, hidden motives here. So like I said, follow your intuition. We have the Queen of Swords at the bottom. So I feel like if this is someone that you already know that they're on that bullshit, you're going to know it. You're going to see right through it. Okay. It could be someone that is um, stressed out or maybe someone that causes a lot of stress, that causes a lot of anxiety. If that is a familiar trait with this person, you'll know who that is. Okay. So right, let's get over our outcome message for this week for Virgos. We'll wrap up some advice. Sorry, for those who are going to ahead. Wow. Okay. Oh, shit. All right. So, we have the sun, the eight of swords, and the magician. So, this is spirit reminding you that anything that's hidden, the moon, okay, so boom. The moon with the sun. Anything that's hidden will be revealed. So, don't worry about it, okay? It may be something, like I said, someone that's trying to trap you. But just know that you're never stuck. Trap, um, being trapped or being stuck, it's all an it's all an illusion. This is, it's all an illusion. This is all in her mind. Okay, the Eight of Swords. This is a mind trap. It's a mind fuck. Meaning that you're never stuck. You're never trapped. You're the fucking magician. Okay, so just remember that in anything you feel like you're stuck in, you always you always can get yourself out of it. 
we create our reality essentially so anything that you're seeing happening in your um, life in your reality is is a projection of your perception okay so just know that if I got myself here I can get myself out and there's so much power in that knowing okay so just know um, damn, I wish I could I wish I had the card more readily available but in this deck here um, the magician the magician card um, it shows I love the, the imagery on it, how it represents, it reminds us that um, as a magician, you have all the tools necessary in your arsenal to create your reality. So that means that you have the cup, which is, represents your emotions, your feelings. You also have the wand, which represents your action, um, your inspiration. You also um, have the um, swords, which represents your thoughts, your ideas, your intellect, your mind, your knowledge, right? And then you also have the pentacle, which is the resources, the um, the material resources available to you to you know do what needs to be done to manifest the life that you want to you know get yourself out of any situation you feel like you find yourself in okay you always have the power virgo to do that you're the fucking magician and it's here and now that i think about it this is our card i'm a virgo too so this is our card y'all like we're, we are the fucking magician like come on now come on now and in this card it's in this deck it's the alchemist so you have everything you need right here in your arsenal so don't let anything that's trying to you know hide and make you think like you know you need my help you need me no the fuck i don't okay it's being revealed you're seeing it clearly that that's just a trap that's just an illusion in itself you're the magician i don't need anything i have everything i need within me so i may want you i may desire you i don't need you because i have everything i need for myself okay anything outside of that if anything at the most is a fucking bonus okay all right page of cups here this could be, you know, someone that's apologizing. Could be a King of Pentacles again, Capricorn verse uh, Virgo Taurus <sighs> energy, um, mostly Capricorn energy. Could be coming in with some type of love offer, some type of apology. But remember, it's just an, this is just a, a page, okay? This page of wands here, okay? It's just a page. So I feel like for some of you, this could be a person who is trying to act, you know, or pretend or have this facade as if they're, you know, this big provider, as if they have all this money, all this abundance. But for some of you, it's just a page. Be careful. Be mindful. I won't say careful. Be mindful. Trust your intuition about this because anything someone's hiding, the, the sun will illuminate that shit. It will shine light on it. So just know if someone's trying to pretend and sell you this, you know, like, oh, I can help you and, you know, all this money that they have, all this abundance and stability, they may not. Okay, the page is also a very watery energy. Okay, that can be an illusion in itself, right? That's something that maybe they want to be, that they want to bring down into reality doesn't mean that they actually are. So again, follow your intuition about that, okay? Because there could be a message coming towards you. Again, another page, it's a messenger. These are both messengers. So someone could be sending you a message of love, wanting something stable, wanting something solid. But again, there's illusionary energy here, okay? I swear to Jesus, one more alarm goes off. Oh, my Jesus. Anyway, so yeah, um, don't let this person pull the wool over your eyes with, you know, some type of love offer, some type of, you know, bogus fake ass apology, okay? Whatever is hidden, again, will be revealed. The sun, like the moon and the sun was right after that, literally. That's like the next card that came out is the sun, okay? It's just an illusion. It's just something to keep you trapped, keep you stuck, make you overthink, make you question yourself. So remember, you have the power. You are the magician. So don't let nobody, you know, um play into your into your thoughts that way make you overthink and question yourself because that's what some people like to do <clears throat> your intuition on the other hand it may not always tell you what you want to hear but it will always keep it real it will always be honest with you okay and remember people lie energy doesn't so any facade or um, illusion that someone's trying to cast over you just know the sun will be revealed it will reveal it it will illuminate it okay Spirit, advice for Virgos, please, for the week ahead. Advice, please, for the week ahead. For Virgos, what they need to know. Prince of Swords, it's a Knight of Swords, yeah. I feel like someone could be um, reckless, bringing in a lot of um, communication, but you know the truth about this person, okay? Yeah, someone's just unbalanced, okay? King of Swords at the bottom here. So this is making a head-over-heart decision, using your logic at this time, staying on your path, okay? Stepping into your own power here, all right? Um, but yeah, the advice here is, you know, um, be courageous. You know, you know the truth about a situation or about a person, be courageous, take action. If you don't, if, if you know what you know, you don't need to think about it, okay? You just need to act and cut motherfuckers off, cut them off if that's what's necessary because someone is imbalanced here. Someone, you know, this could be a lack of patience, but this is also represents a lack of healing, okay? Um, 
a lack someone being really imbalanced okay so i feel like you know spirit saying if you know that you need to cut this person off if someone's coming at you crazy you know use call upon archangel michael this is his card call upon archangel michael if you believe in in such beings um and use that sort of truth to cut motherfuckers off let them know what time it is and let them know i'm with the shit i'm not with the shits because i'm with the shits okay and if you know if you, if you know you know what that means but you know yeah so let's wrap with some of these for the week ahead, please. I really feel like if this is someone that's trying to come at you with some type of facade, they really have you fucked up. I, re I really feel that strongly, okay? Someone has you twisted like a motherfucking pretzel, so I'm just saying. Just know that if someone tries to come at you crazy and try to come in like, you know, all crazy and all that, you know, cut the ass, all right? Don't be, don't be scared to stand your truth. And know that you're trying to you're trying to trap me. You're just trying to fuck with my mind. We're not doing that. We're not playing them games. Okay. So, white eagle ancestor spirit to connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. We talked about that earlier in the reading. So banishing off the that um, energy of lack for some of you is codependency. Okay. I know the devil didn't come out, but that also represents codependency. Okay. Um, feeling like you have to keep people around just out of comfort or because they make you feel like you need them when you don't right so i feel like for some of you this is a pattern that is being trying to that is trying to be broken at this time so you know do your thing be the magician allow that shit to happen because it's not just helping your um current generation but the generations ahead of you so then we have krishna devotion trust your spiritual guidance your commitment has been recognized you are loved unconditionally absolutely you're being protected at this time so just know you know, it's time to, to really step into your power, though, in that way. And remember that I'm divine. I am the fucking magician, period. And that's all, period. So, Virgos, that is what I have for you. If you found any resonance in this reading, any guidance, encouragement, insight, confirmation, I would appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. And until next time, you guys.